Are some Weddell seal pups couch potatoes? Ecologists from Montana State University studying Weddell seals in Antarctica are trying to answer this question as part of their ongoing population and mass dynamic study with support from the National Science Foundation. Weddell seal pups spend the first five to six weeks of their lives nursing and getting fat from their mother's milk. In caring for the pup and providing it with very fatty milk, the female will end up taking a pup that starts out at about 67 pounds at birth and trying to get it up over 250 pounds in just over a month's time. So a massive amount of, of weight shift, transferring energy from her body to the pup's body. Researchers suspect that there may be a correlation between weaning weight and pup survival in Weddell seals. And very little is known about the role of early swimming behavior in pup survival. It takes many years to learn the answers to such questions with these slow maturing animals, which is why long-term studies are so important. About a week or two after birth, Weddell moms begin coaxing their pups into the water to learn to swim. It's not uncommon to see a pup uh, seeming to struggle a little bit getting out and the mother to come over and rake that and work it with her body and work it with her teeth. We have evidence that the mothers interact with their pups a great deal in the water early in life during the first month or two of life and perhaps they're in there making sure they swim safely. Maybe they're actually providing them with uh, a good role model of how swimming is done. We don't yet know. Maybe they're helping them find fish uh, and teaching them some predation skills. The idea to study the role of pup swimming behavior in seal survival arose from discussions with pioneering ecologist Don Seneff. Don provided a really interesting sort of off-the-cuff comment. He said, you know those really big fat pups that are just huge at weaning? He says, I kind of think that they're probably not very good pups because maybe what happened is those pups never went into water during that 30 or 40 days. They just laid on the ice like a couch potato, did nothing, waited for mom to come up, got as much milk from mom, got as fat as possible, but never did anything during that, that critical period of time in their life where they have the potential to learn something from other seals, from their mom in particular. And so they just laid on the ice, fed, got really fat, but they have no survival skills because they never went in the water. But then in science, you should always be thinking about multiple competing hypotheses. What other sort of explanation? What other patterns might you think about that could compete with that hypothesis? Well, one that took a little bit of time to formulate is, well, maybe the biggest pups are just simply coming from the best moms. The moms that came in the biggest, the heaviest, that had the most body resources that they could then invest in their pups. To answer these questions, the researchers needed to develop a way to measure how much time the pups were actually spending in the water, a way that would be accurate and practical. In Antarctica, the seawater is a constant minus 1.8 degrees Celsius, but the surrounding surface temperature can vary widely. What I sort of did on the sidelines, what I call a hobby or a pilot project, is try to develop a, a little tag that would monitor temperature at very uh, short intervals, six minutes, that we could put on the pups at the time that we tagged them, initially tagged them when they were one or two days old, and that would archive those data over the nursing period, and then we could take that tag off when we weighed them at 35 days of age, and it would have all this temperature data that then would allow us to know that particular pup, how much time did it spend in the water? When did it start going in the water? How long did it spend in the water? And how much total time did it spend in the water to that time that we took that tag off of it? Which then was also associated with the mass of that animal when we took it off. Because of the long-term nature of this Weddell seal population and mass dynamic study, scientists will be able to learn over the next five to 10 years which of these seal pups survive to return and have pups of their own, and whether there really are Weddell seal couch potatoes.